let us quickly demonstrate how to create a nudge journey on our dashboard. Let me introduce you to our dashboard, where you can create contextual nudge journeys. We will start by clicking on Create and defining the name of the walkthrough. Let's call this Save Later Flow. We can also measure goals that our nudges and walkthroughs should accomplish on this dashboard. We will now set a conversion goal. We can integrate with your existing analytics provider to define goals for the walkthrough. Events already set up by your analytics provider come up automatically on the dashboard. For instance, here, we have integrated with Netcore's customer engagement platform to get data. These are the events that have been tracked on the user's app, and they come up automatically here. For example, here, let us figure out how many people added an item to their wishlist. This is the KPI we are trying to improve through this demo nudge journey. We are now going to define our nudge. Let us give it the name Save Later. You are now looking at Netcore's extensive nudge library. There are various nudge templates to choose from depending on the use case. For now, we will pick a simple tooltip nudge and move to the next step. We land at the flowchart-like interface that allows us to write walkthroughs without writing a single line of code. The first thing we need to do is to find the audience for this walkthrough. We can either configure this walkthrough for all users or a segment of users. We can create specific segments and define the set of users who will be shown the nudge. These segments can be set up on the dashboard through a very intuitive segment builder. The parameters to be used for creating segments are event data or attribute data, both of which can be directly picked up from your existing analytics provider. You do not need to set up key app events or attributes separately to define the nudge segments. Events and attributes already set up by the existing analytics provider come up automatically on the dashboard. Once you have created these segments, you can simply start using them on the FreeFlow Journey Builder. The next important point is that you can define multiple ways of rolling out a nudge to users. You can send these walkthroughs to all users in one go, that is, as soon as the walkthrough is pushed to production, every user gets them. But for now, I recommend a slow rollout to your users. You can scale up the nudge rollout from 20% to 40% and measure the impact of nudges versus your default app or web experience. The other option is to A-B test multiple nudge variants. There are up to nine variants that you can test out on the dashboard for the demo. For the demo, we select rollout nudge in phases, and this is what will appear on the dashboard. There's a flowchart with a predefined nudge rollout. For all new users, a rollout check will be done once we define the percentage of this rollout. This percentage ends up receiving the nudge we define, whereas the remaining percentage of users gets the default app experience. For now, for this demo, we will show this nudge to all the users and save changes. Get in touch with us to create engaging nudge journeys for your mobile app and websites.